Okay. This is Cathedral. It's by Decemberborn Interactive. And I'll just go ahead and read what it says here quickly. Wake up in a world with no recollection how you got there. A world fast vat of ha ba ba a world full of secrets hidden rooms dungeons and towns cathedral features a vast world meant for exploring you control a nameless protagonist a knight from a different world who teams up with a spirit known as soul figure out what makes this world tick and how to get back home so yeah this is apparently an action adventure game and uh as you can tell 8-bit aesthetic i like so far Let's just jump right in. I got my trusty handy dandy controller here. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna use my actual name, I suppose. Okay, let's go. Oh man. Look at this color palette. Oh, that is surprisingly crisp feeling movement. Damn. I got to admit, I wasn't expecting it to be that nice feeling. Okay, we got some nice, uh... What's that called again? That's not parallax scrolling, right? That's just, I guess, scrolling. And it looks like we got kind of a Metroidvania on our hands here. There seems to be a map there. I'm guessing this is checkpoints of sort? This music is like certified bangers, by the way. New quest. Find a way out. A giant cathedral filled with monsters. What is this place? All right. I am... Okay. So, so far, it's controlling exactly how you would think. Uh, if you've played one of these games before. I really like that you can go through the platforms. I think this is a very cute game so far. Getting some real Shovel Knight vibes from it. Obviously, like, a very... A much smaller project than Shovel Knight was. Shovel Knight was... Oh, you know what? Here's, like, one quick problem. There's a... What's... Like, what would you call it when you push the... Bu There's, like, a weird delay on your jump. And it gets... The input gets eaten up when you go off of a ledge. Like, if you jump trying to go off the ledge it like prioritizes you falling off the ledge rather than you jumping off of it for some reason it's hard to explain it's one of those things that i wish i could explain it better but like if you felt it you would know what i'm talking about not exactly like a game change it's the best way i could probably explain it is that it's very like an old nes game for better or worse i guess i I guess more than anything, it just kind of caught me off guard. Because now that I know it's there, I can, like, appropriately plan my jumps for it. Oh my god, this music is certified banger material, though. This is so good. Also, I'm, like, obsessed with collecting all this money because I don't know what it's going to do for me, but if it's anything like real life, I don't have enough of it. How did I get up there before? Uh, what the heck? Wait, why, why did it work that time? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh man, I just can't stop listening to this music though. Hi. What's wrong? What happened? You, me, both. You and me both. <laughs> yep. Oh, did my dude put his sword on his back? Could you make coffee by chance? Thank you. 
does he put the sword on his back when he climbs up the ladder? That is cool. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I'm gonna make sure to pay attention to that right now. Oh, that's real cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay. No, I, I want to know if you can, like, deflect those. I'm willing to take damage to find out. No, okay. You just gotta dodge them. Oh. Or you can kill the thing that spits them. That works, too. Ooh. Armor augmentation. 1% <laughs> chance to avoid damage when hit. Well, 1% is better than no percent, right? Man, I'm stoked at how well this game controls, actually. I don't know why. I was expecting it to be kind of molasses-y. But it's like very, very smooth in the, its movement. In fact, the only thing I have to say knock against it is the weird like animation thing when you go off a ledge, it eating your jump input. But that hasn't really been a problem since figuring out that that exists. I've been able to compensate for it, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay. There has to be something I'm missing with this stuff, right? Maybe I just don't have the whatever ability I need to like... Oh my god, I jumped into the spike. Oh, you have a map. Okay. Do I keep my armor augmentation? I think I do. Okay, let's try going this way. This seems like the classic video game that you would, like, you know if you were watching, like, a sitcom and the kids are in the sitcom are, like, talking about, like, playing a video game or something or playing a Nintendo game. This is dope, by the way. It's like a weird combination of the downward thrust in Zelda 2 mixed with the pogo attack from DuckTales, and it feels real cool, real good. Um... This seems like that type of game that, like, on a sitcom, the kids are playing Nintendo and there's some, like, nondescript, like, adventure game that they're playing. This is totally that thing. And that's kind of awesome. I think the only thing I'm worried about, really, is I bet this is probably a short game, you know? I imagine there's probably not a whole lot to it. I mean, I could be wrong, but... We'll have to see, I suppose. Well, I don't know. This map looks like it could be kind of big. Considering I haven't even gotten back to the starting... Wow, yeah, I didn't even get back to the start. So, this map might be kind of big, actually. Either that or they just made the, like, matting behind it bigger than the map to throw somebody off. Which, I mean, could be. I guess. I don't know how maps work, so. In video games, I should say. So, do I have to hit this? 
I can't tell if that did anything. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it did. I do wonder how true this is to 8-bit. That is a straight up Zelda enemy. A uh, key shaped like an eye with horns. It will most likely open something close by. Maybe that orb? It probably wouldn't be my first guess to put a key in an orb that's floating in the middle of nowhere, but I'm also not a knight adventuring. Well, I think I just collected whatever that was this time by hitting it. I can't tell what that is. I wonder if I can jump on it. Yep. Very cool. Oh, did I miss a secret because I didn't jump on this one? Damn. I think I did. That's a bummer. Okay, let's go back this way. Apparently there's no reason to do that again. So that's good to know. Wait. Well... That just means we have to hit every wall now. That's all that finding that secret did. Was make it so we have to now hit every single wall. I hope you're happy, Dev. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is where we would have learned about that. Okay. Fair enough. I just screwed myself out of getting that chest. Oh well. And this will open the door here. Yeah. This must be the key. Yep piece of a map. Unlocks the map in the current region. Check the map to often to find secrets. Oh, man. Okay. That's a piece of the map, too. Damn. Boss fight? Maybe? Oh, I see. That's what that ma that means on the map. got springboards a little frightening but all right I wonder if I should go down I wonder what that door looking thing is oh <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the door. Okay, a checkpoint. Can you fast travel or something? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Good to know. That seems like a mimic. Damn. I 
I can't tell if those are timed or not. They don't seem to be. It seems to just go off when you hit that thing. Whoops. Oh, God. I am wondering if there's like a boss fight of any sort. Ruby shield, you found your shield. This shield blocks projectiles and some melee attacks. Okay. Very cool. Another checkpoint. This must be a boss, right? I don't know why I keep thinking there's a boss fight, but... Oh, this might be. Oh. It's a chase sequence. Oh my god. Okay. We Gucci. Do I have to... Oh, that just heals me fully. I understand. Okay. Okay, this is a boss. Dope. Bra. The firstborn. Bra. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Okay. We got this. We got this. No problem. No problem. Look at this shuffle. It's getting a little cute there. You just gotta ducktails it, man. Scrooge McDuck, he knew. Oh, that's such a satisfying song. Heart container, gain an extra heart permanently. You'll survive even longer. Magnus Apparatus, an ancient gauntlet used to battle demons. Use your arrows wisely. Okay. Okay. Now we got ghosts, apparently, too. And they shoot through walls. Okay. Good to know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Am I screwed? Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to aim. It's probably worth it to go for it again. Yeah. Yeah, we got arrows from it. Totally worth it. Um. Oh, it's over here. Or not.
Maybe I need to pogo jump. All right. Over here, spirit. Oh, God. Okay. I actually want that heart. I need another ghost here. Come on, ghost. Oh, my God. All right. What about this ghost? You come over here. You're easier to work around. Unlike your jerky friend here. Oh. That's nice. Can I shoot up? I cannot. Do, 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 do. God, this music is so good. If there's one thing you can tell about the creators of this game, is that they definitely love this old school style of game. There's no doubt. It's just... The style is done so flawlessly. This skull... Oh no, why did I do that? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alright. Get that. You did play a lot of them growing up? You can tell, my dude. I was saying, uh, when I started playing this, like, I didn't mean it as an insult, really, but what I, it probably came out ruder than I meant for it to. I, what I said is, I'm surprised at how good this game feels, because I'm used to playing a lot of these, uh, types of games, and it's hard to describe what is wrong with them, but they have this, like, they're off, you know? There's something about, like, how they control that doesn't feel correct and I was just surprised that this one feels very very correct you spend a lot of times on co the controls it definitely it definitely feels like it it feels really good it's surprisingly good feeling, is how I said it, I think. Because, like, the last time I played a game like this that controlled this fluidly was probably Shovel Knight, right? Like, I'm trying to think of some other games I've played recently that are like this. On, like, the Switch and stuff. And, like, they're fine, but, like, they are not, like, Shovel Knight quality controls. Ammo upgrade. So I'm gonna go ahead and name some games I think from what I can tell from what this game is like, I think were some inspirations for you guys. Alright? You can tell me if I'm right or wrong. So the I mean the first obvious one obviously is like ghouls and ghosts, ghosts and goblins. Uh if nothing else, maybe just from, like, the way the sprite looks. Um, there's definitely some Castlevania influences in here, for sure. Obviously Metroid. There's definitely Metroid influences in, he in here, for sure. I'd be so bold to say that maybe even Shovel Knight? Like, you actually might have, like taking a look at how Shovel Knight did stuff and maybe, like, design some stuff around it. It's very reminiscent of it. I 
I'm trying to remember the name of the game. It could, there's another game that controls very much like this from back in the day that I can't remember the name of right now and it's driving me crazy. For some reason, Tomba keeps going in my head, but that was a PlayStation 1 game. And that's not at all what I like am wanting to say. Oh my God. Weirdly enough, it even has a little bit, I don't know if you've ever played um, Bucky O'Hare on the NES, but there's kind of like a chunkiness to how the jump, the platforms feel when you jump on them. Like how big, they're not like Mega Man-y platforms, if that makes sense. They're like thick platforms because the jumps are kind of big that you make. So it feels kind of like that. You played a lot of Shovel Knight when working on Cathedral. It, like, it 100% shows. I definitely think that, uh, Cathedral, from what I'm playing here so far, has the same, like, loving attention to that era of games that Shovel Knight d does, for sure. It definitely has that, like, you can tell that I mean I'm gonna refer to you as if, if you're not here you can tell that it's like the creators really like this stuff you know honestly I think the best thing I can say about it is that it's just fun I don't know how well it would play for like a modern audience that didn't grow up with like 8-bit NES adventure games like this but like, it's just fun. There's no like real more nuanced way you can put it. It's just like that old feeling of sitting down with a game that you rented from the Blockbuster on the NES and like playing through on the weekend. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, let's, let's bail there for a second. Get back here. Go away. Damn, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get that, maybe. As usual, my plans have been thwarted. I didn't know you could heal! Okay. I oh, now that indicator makes sense, because I tried pushing to the right. I can't tell if I'm dumb or maybe that's just hard. That's a little obscure, but I don't know how you make it less obscure. Hmm. Weird. I might just be dumb. There were, for a while there, I was like pushing on it like this, like trying to like make it something happen. <laughs> just like, oh, I guess, I guess that's not what that indicator is. Oh, well. Okay, it seems like I'm gonna get another ability here. It's hard to represent with 8x8 eight eight pixels. Go figure, I guess, huh? Ooh, boss fight. Not boss fight? Boss fight. Hey. Cool. Thank you. Ah, uh, classic eyeball monster. Oh, shoot. Okay, I think I get the idea. Oh my god, okay. Wait, can I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Which one is that one? Oh god. I kind of like that he keeps making it rain from the heaven, the items I need. That's kind of cool. Okay. 
Up here. Up here. Always work. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go. Now, do we get to fight him? Yep. Need a way you can run out of arrows during the fight, so we've made it rain stones. It's kind of neat, too. Welcome to Cathedral. How nice. Who did the music in this game? Because it's really, really good. Uh. Oh, I see. Hello, I seem to have gotten trapped in here. I can't really remember how I ended up in this cathedral, but I don't mind it that much. There are lots of riches here just waiting for a new owner. Hee <laughs> hee. What about you? What are you doing here? Not the talkative type then. Perhaps you could help me. There's a switch over there that I think will open this prison. If you open it, I'll find a way to make it worth your while. Hee hee hee. Okay, well he's obviously evil. Oh crap, Uchil, can you uh, give permission for a link? Hee hee hee. Thank you very much. See you around. <laughs> oh man, that fall animation though. Are you all right? <laughs> I didn't mean for you to fall like that. It's a exclamation mark permit space name. Man, that is a mage looking ass mage right there. Thank you. Thank you. This music is so good. Pyro or Pyro? Pyro, I think? If you put an I and an Y together? Just fell from the sky. Old man, it sounds like you have had one too many pecan mud cake stouts. No, not the sky, you ignorant whelp. From the old cathedral in the Shade Forest. That's why I needed you to come over. Pecan muds, mud cake stouts are an actual thing? No. Those sound like they might be delicious or terrible. I can't decide. I'm a health mage. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't detect pure spirit energy. I need a spirit mage. You're thinking this person's from another world, don't you? You're thinking about the prophecy. I don't know yet. There was something more out there. A small spirit of some kind that disappeared when I got close. Very well, give me a second. I'll do a spirit detection spell. They're both somehow. Hey, Levesin, have you played the messenger, by the way? Anything interesting? A surprisingly strong remnant of spirit energy. I need to consult my books. Hmm, let me know what you find. Of course. Oh, you haven't? You should check it out. It is also very old feeling. If you like, like, Ninja Gaiden games anyway. I see you're finally awake. My name is Vale. I'm the health mage of the village. Any explanation to who you are? Oh, forget that I asked then. You're lucky I came by when I did. Most people don't venture into Shade Forest. You seem to be hurt. Stand still for a second and I will heal you. I'll even throw in a temporary health boost for free this one time. If you want the, the health boost in the future, bring gold. I'm not running a charity here. Wow, it's got kind of an attitude. Come see me again if you need healing, and bring gold if you do. Okay, well. 
Find out about this mysterious device. Find someone who knows more about the Magnus apparatus. Soul searching. You met an odd little spirit called Soul by the cathedral. Who was that? Hmm. Mario? Oh, Bruno. I'm Bruno. No one ever comes to visit me here. Hey, why are you here then? Uh, alright then. As I was saying, no one ever visits. I bet it's because I live on top of the sewers. Serves them right. I heard there's all kinds of riches down there. And now I can have them all to for myself. Alright, well, let's go steal his riches. Seems like I need an upward thrust, maybe. Okay, here's another game I think you might have taken inspiration from. Legend of Zelda 2. Link's Awakening. Not Link's Awakening. What the hell is that called? Holy shit. Was it Link's Awakening? No, Link's Awakening is a new one. Legend of Zelda 2. Hey, Rumble. Thanks for the two months, man. I appreciate it. How are you? Adventures of Link. Yeah, that's my favorite Legend of Zelda game. And you know how I can tell you took inspiration from it? Because of this right here. This downward thrust. You smartly made it look like less of a dong than they did, though, in that game. So, kudos. I came here for four play. I only see one play. This is game number two, my dude. Four games, four hours. You're sitting... Oh, you just got home? Very nice, very nice. Oh my god. Those little Grim Reapers. Those sprites are so cute. Oh lord. Here's something else I appreciate, and people that have been watching me for a little bit will know. I like that your spikes aren't insta-kill. I'm a big proponent of, like, yeah, make them do a lot of damage. That's fine. Just don't, like, freaking kill me instantly for, ac for making a mistake, you know? They used to be insta-kill, and we used to have even more of them everywhere. Oh, were you going for kind of a, uh, more masochistic, like, type platformer before then? Also, this is probably not at all true, but your screen transitions remind me a lot of the Ninja Turtles game from NES. So I don't know if that was like a conscious decision or if that was just kind of one of the things that happens when you try to emulate old style games, but it just reminds me of that. Also, this level is 100% just reminiscent of Ghosts and Goblins slash Ghouls and Ghosts. It just has that feel. Checkpoint up here. 
Very good, very good. Oh, that slowdown. Okay. I obviously need something to go through that stuff. Okay, let's keep looking around. Felt like unforgiving while doing the Metroidvania thing stopped you from actually having fun. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Like, it probably would have been fine. It probably would have been fine if, like, it was a difficulty, but not, like, as the main thing. Like, if you could set the difficulty to that, it'd probably be whatever, but it's definitely more fun just, like, being a good Metroidvania rather than a masochistic platformer with Metroidvania elements, you know? Nothing doing down here, I guess. Wait, or is there? Just want to make sure. I wasn't looking over on the other side. All right. Oh, oh. God, is every song on this game soundtrack like a certified 8-bit banger? Damn. I like how erratic this song is with its tempo. That's really fun. Oh my god, the zombies are so cute. Okay. Tomb of Magnus. Here lies Magnus. Inventor, alchemist, demonologist. Are you going to make me pick up a gemstone, come to this corner, sit there for five seconds and pray to Magnus? Hey, it's not defiling the grave, it's how I show my respect, alright? a map. Alright. So this is definitely one of the first games in a while that I've played that I would recommend to John. I think John might have played this game though. I think he might have talked about this on TDP. I can't remember though. Okay, let's go down the other way and see if there's anything that way. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for hanging out and thank you for uh, the code for this game. I appreciate it. I am so stoked to be able to share this with people I know. Maybe I should go down and then to the right over there. I'm almost wondering if I should even be here yet. <laughs> like, I don't necessarily even know that I should be, right?
Oh my god. I did the same thing. God, this music is so good though. I'm never gonna give it up. There's that bot again. is I just don't know where I want to go currently. I want to check this the uh, town out a little bit more here. Because I didn't go left. I only went right. Oh, look at this guy. It's Frank! Hi there, I'm Frank. Who are you then? I like how my character just doesn't say anything to anybody. What a jerk. Ahoy there, fellow adventurer. I can see you're a traveler, much like myself. In fact, I don't think there's a single place I haven't been to. I usually document my travel experiences for others to see. You should keep an eye out for my letters. There's even one on the house just next to us. The information in them could save your life someday. Who knows? Okay. I'm guessing the letter he's talking or the house he's talking about is the one he's walking in front of. Oh, this one. Welcome to Ivy Stone Ridge, a safe haven for weary adventurers. P.S. For sightseeing, you should visit the old portal. It's in the house in southern Ivy Stone. Rumor has it can be used to travel distant locations. It's probably just an old tale, though. Yeah, probably. Whoever heard of magic? Oh, we have a lot of money. Upgrade bank account. Medium potion. Uroboros. An old bronze amulet which reduces gold loss on death by 1%. New set of armor. Boost your defense by plus one, withstand more hits. Mysterious gargoyle key. Who knows what it will unlock. Armor augmentation. Start with four hearts instead of three after dying. I mean, that's a pretty good augmentation. I'll buy that. I guess I'm gonna buy these bank account upgrades? Don't exactly know what they do, but... I'm assuming... I'm going to want them. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Can't remember seeing you in Ivy Stone before. I just love to come up here. It's such a lovely view. You can see all the way to Shade Forest. Bill, you look a lot like your the other dude. I can't remember the name of now. Frank? Was it Frank? Hi there, I'm Bill. I haven't seen you around before. Bill is curious. What's your name? I see. That's interesting. Bill is intrigued. Oh god, he refers to himself in the third person. Because of course he does. Pedro, so, you have finally arrived. What? I'm a kid, so I can't say mysterious stuff? I'm actually not a kid, though. Due to some unfortunate events, I'm just... trapped. For now. My true name is It's... It's Thra. 
Lewin. I'm one of the seven demonic gatekeepers, but you can call me Pedro. Everyone else does. Speechless? I thought as much. It's a weird little kid. Okay, then. Uh, what the heck? Zambitrock. Ooh, spooky. Okay. A spirit you will surely meet by Old Cathedral Grounds. When walking through Shade Forest soon, you'll meet it where you fell. Well, I knew that already. These fake psychics and charlatans, man. All they do is take a read of the room. You do know that this is my house. I can't remember inviting you. Maybe you dropped off your riches at the bank, or maybe you got robbed by someone on the way here. Hmm, easily happened, especially in Shade Forest. In any case, don't forget to stash your money in the bank. Yeah, about that. I'm kind of broke. Okay. The silence is unnerving, actually. Oh, here's Shade Forest. Well, crap. I don't actually know how I can get... Yeah, I don't think I can get over there. I wonder if I can fall from up higher. Or what's over here? A bookshop. That is a burly, burly book dude. Oi, dude. I'm Conan, and I'm the, um, whatchamacallit? The librarian. Conan the librarian. Oh my god. Okay. I'm the librarian of Ivy Stone Ridge. You need a book? I have books. So many books. I put most of them in the basement. For the really old stuff, just follow the basement to the next building. The key is on the top shelf, though. Don't know how to get it down. I tried everything. Hey, while you're here, I'm in a bind. Some punk stole a bunch of my books tonight. If I knew who it was, I'd give them a hefty fine. If you happen to see any of my books, please bring them to me. I'll pay you 150 gold per book. Look, I'll even throw in 150 gold right now just to find my books, dude. Okay. Seems like a good deal to me. The Book of Books. So these are all the books you can find in the game, by the looks of it. That is... That is a hefty amount of books to find. This game might be longer than I gave it credit for. I mean, there's a book right there. Okay, here's the portal. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay. And we're gonna call that the hour for this game. So again, that's Cathedral by Decemberborn Interactive, and it's super fun. I highly recommend it. I'm going to play more of this, probably. This seems like a good off-stream game for me to just chill and play through, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do more on-stream. Who knows?